In this video, we're going to calculate three limits. The two, first two are at, at infinity. And the third one, we want to find the limit as x approaches 2. And these are some of the more basic limits that you'll encounter in a calculus class. Sometimes you'll see some like these in college algebra. So let's look at the first one. We got the limit as x goes to infinity of 2 over x squared plus 1. Well, you can see that as x gets real large, x goes to plus infinity, 2 stays fixed in the numerator. But in the denominator, you got x squared plus 1. So the denominator gets larger and larger. So you got basically 2 over infinity. Denominator gets larger and larger. The value of this expression here is x goes to infinity goes to 0. Now in the next one, as x goes to infinity, we have 6x minus 1 and 2x plus 1. So as x goes to infinity, this goes, this term right here goes to infinity and this term goes to infinity. So you pretty much have infinity over infinity. But that, just to get a better look at this, let's divide the numerator and denominator by x. So we're going to get 6. So we got 6 over x. The x is divided out, we get 6. And I got minus 1 over x. In the denominator, we divide through by x. 2x divided by x. The x cancels, I get 2. Then 1 divided by x is 1 over x. So as x goes to infinity, 6 and 2 will stay fixed. But this term right here, the denominator gets real large. But this term right here, the denominator gets real large. So th this one goes to 0. This one goes to 0. So that simply goes to 6 over 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3. Now for the third one, we have the limit as x goes to 2. So what happens to this expression, this rational expression, as x goes to 2? Well, you can see here, if I, re if I replace the x by 2, I get 2 minus 2 in the denominator, and 2 squared is 4, 4 minus 4 in the numerator, so I get 0 over 0. We can't divide by 0 here, so we can't say 0 divided by 0 is 1. So let's do this. Let's factor this numerator, x minus 2, x plus 2. Now it's one thing you have to remember when you're, when you're dealing with limits. In this particular case we have a limit as, as x approaches 2. So we want to know what does this what does this expression approach as x gets close to 2. So in other words we want x to be real close to 2 but not quite there because 2 minus 2 will give me 0. Can't divide by 0. So what we can do then is we can say okay this x is not going to go to 2, so we're not going to get 0. We're going to get real close to 2, but not quite there. So we can cancel these out. And then we get another look at this. Get the limit as x goes to 2. What do we have left? x plus 2. Now, if you've got a problem like this, where x, x is approaching a certain number value, just plug it in. And if it gives you a, a number, that's, that's the limit. Now in this case, if I just plug it in, I get 0 over 0. It's okay, what do we do? Well, this is what you do. If you can factor it like this, just let x approach 2, but not quite get there, then you can make, now you can cancel the x minus 2 and the x minus 2. And then you can say, okay, now let's have, an, let's have another look at this. As x is close to 2, x plus 2 gets close to 2 plus 2. So if this x is real close to 2, then this limit is going to be real close to 4. And that's your limit. Now, if you were to graph this expression here, this x squared minus 4 over x minus 2, it would be one line with one point deleted. And that would be the point 2, 4. So if I, if I were to graph this the coordinate system, this point right there that I marked in red, this point right there would be the point 2 and 4. So those are your answers to these. 0 for the first one, 3 for the second one, and 
fourth or the third one. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.